Okay, so we're going to make this paper lizard using the amazing paper that uh, you created with oil pastel and watercolour. And you will need, um, for the first step, you're going to need the very long ruler and you'll need a grey lead, which you can put to one side. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fold our paper in half. So have the print side up and you're going to pick it up and fold it away from yourself. Hands on top so you can roll it backwards and forwards. And you're going to match up the corners. Now, if you can't do this by yourself, get a friend to help you. So when you match up a corner, ask them to put their finger on it for you. And then you can match up the other corner. And then you can both push down the centre, keeping your fingers on this corner and this corner and fold it in half. Everything we do with this needs to be done fairly accurately because we're going to use every single piece of this paper. So we need to make sure we don't waste it. We're going to need every little bit. Okay, so that's our first step. We folded our paper in half lengthways. Now we're going to we're going to draw a diagonal line from one corner to the other and we're going to use this extra long ruler that I've made up. So the way you do this is you line up one corner, so I'm lining up this, and I'm lining up the side that's furthest away from me. Not this side that's close, but the one that's furthest away from me. And I'm going to line it up with this corner, putting my finger on there, and then I'm going to move the ruler until it is exactly on the other corner. Can you see that? So line up one corner, put your fingers on there and hold it, and then line it up to this corner. All right, then you can either hold your hand like this or spread your fingers out like this, pushing down hard on the ruler. Pick up your pencil at the end and you're just going to lightly drag your pencil all the way along. You don't need to press hard on the pencil. It works all by itself. And you can see there we've got a line ruled from one corner to the other. Okay. Now what you're going to do is grab yourself a pair of scissors and we're going to cut through both layers starting at one corner and making sure you're cutting through both layers, not one layer, both layers, very carefully all the way through. Take your time, you do not want to mess this up. Okay, so now you'll have three pieces. If you unfold this, you've got one big triangle and you've got two small pieces. Oh, I didn't quite cut, just pull that apart. So I've got these. Okay, now this is a really important step. You can get rid of this ruler now. We don't need that again. This is a really, really important step because we're going to be cutting this up into lots of pieces. You need to write your name and grade. Okay, I've written name and grade, but you're going to write your name and grade on each piece. Name and grade. And make sure you write neatly, because if you, do, if you don't write it neatly, um, we won't know who it belongs to. And we need to write our name and grade on everything in case a piece of it falls off the table, we know who it belongs to. Okay, because we've only we've got three, we're going to have a lot more pieces of paper yet. Okay, so let's put these two triangles to one side and we're going to deal with this one here. And what we're going to do now is we're going to fold this over. We're going to turn it over so you've got the white side up and we're going to fold it in like a paper plane. And you're going to need your buddy to help this because this is really quite difficult to do. Um, and you're going to very gently, you do one end and your buddy can do the other end. So you have to get up and stand next to each other and fold this over so that it meets nicely in the middle. Now I've already pre-folded this, that's why it looks easy. It's a little bit fiddlier when you're doing it to start with. So you get a friend to hold this end, you do this end and fold it in really accurately down the middle. And if you get really stuck, just put your hand up and I'll come and help you. Okay? So you should end up with a long, 
skinny coloured triangle and what you're going to do now is you're going to pick it up and you're just going to fold it back. Okay, like that. Alright, so you had, we went from open, we folded the sides in, then you pick it up and you just fold it back like this and check that it's um, flat. Now if you're waiting for me to come around, if, if you've done this and you're waiting for me to go help other people, a really good thing to do is actually press all the creases down really well. Don't press in the middle, that's not going to do anything. Press all the creases down really well. Okay, so that's what you want to do. So we've ended up with something that looks like a paper plane. Can you see that? Okay, looks like a paper plane. That's what you want. Okay, now, now you're going to need your scissors. So, if you are right-handed, of course, you're going to be holding your scissors in your right hand. You need to hold your paper aeroplane, well, our lizard body. You're going to hold your lizard body in this hand, your other hand. And you want the arrow pointing away from you. You want the fat end in the middle. If you're left-handed, you're going to hold it this way and your scissors in your left hand. So holding it like that. Okay, and we're going to do... We're going to do the slinky bit for the back of your um, back of your lizard. Here's our paper lizard. Can you see that? So this is what we're making. So this is our paper lizard, and we're actually going to cut all of these bits down the back. Okay, and we need to do that very carefully. So with your scissors, holding your paper like this. This is going to be like a little a little stopper. We're just going to stop us cutting any further. We're going to cut straight up, not on an angle and not on that angle. And you want it about the width of your finger. That's how wide we want our pieces. So I'm going to put my scissors and I'm checking that I'm cutting not on an angle, not on that angle, straight up. Cut, push my scissors further. And I can't push them any further because they're now bumping into, can you see they're bumping into the top of the, the sort of wings there? That's our little stop. So when we get to there, we just close our scissors. And you can see there that that comes back really easily. If that doesn't do that, you haven't quite cut enough. You might think you have, but if it doesn't flip out like that, you haven't. One millimetre can make a difference. Okay, so I'm going to cut the next one. And it's really critical, make sure you go right to the top. Can you see that? That you keep these all the same size. You don't want them too fat, because if they're all too wide, because if they're too wide, your lizard won't be too slinky. And if they're too skinny, they might tear really easily. Um, they're too fragile. So I'm just going to push up to the top and cut. Don't do that. You don't want to push past. Okay, we're just pushing. It's going to come a little bit slower. So cutting, move your scissors up, and my scissors can't go any further because I've hit the I've hit the wings there, and I cut. So I'm going to go all the way along, checking. Take your time doing this because this is the main part of your lizard. Checking that all your cuts are about the same size and they're all going straight, they're not turning on an angle. So here we go. And you see as I'm cutting, that this very easily flips. Now, if you don't cut far enough, so if I do these ones, see these ones won't, see those two won't flip because I haven't cut all the way to the top. Now, be careful that it doesn't do that because you don't want to accidentally cut one of them that goes underneath. So it might be better to hold it away so it tilts away from you. And keep going down. And 
and And you can probably leave about that much of the tail. You can go a little bit further, but you don't want to go right to the end. It gets a bit, a little bit tricky. I'll do one more. There we go. Okay, so now you should be able to make your lizard. That's your little slinky lizard bozzy. It's inside out at the moment, but that's okay. All right, so we're going to fold this up and put this away. We're not ready to make that into our body now. That can be go, go to one side, and we're going to do our next step. Now, the next step is to actually um, do the head. We're going to cut out the head and the feet. And I've got some templates. You've got a square here. This will make your head. And you've got two feet templates, a big foot, big feet, and a little one and lay your triangles out like this so they have a line down here and they're straight across here not like that we don't want to kite lay them out white side up so you've got a triangle this just makes it a little bit easier for laying out okay grab a pencil and you're going to put your square you're going to line it up with this edge here because this is already a right angle can you see that and make sure it's right on this edge. Don't put it in the middle like that. Okay, we want it right on this edge. So when we trace our square, all we have to do is trace that side and that side, and this makes the other two sides of the square. Now, another little tip when we're tracing is the top of your pencil should be pointing straight up to the ceiling, okay? Straight up, not on an angle, not over like that. Straight up. Okay. And then you can pass that on just for somebody else to use. All right. And, yeah, your name and grade will be inside these. Don't worry about that. Now, the next thing, you take your large, the large foot, and you want to line this edge up with either this side or this side. Okay. So the toes are up near there here, and this is going down the side. So like that, like that. See how it lines up along the side? So I'm going to trace this one. And you can actually put it right against the edge. And as close to the square as you can get it. Because like I said, we need every little bit of this paper because we're going to be using all of it. Pencil pointing straight up. There's one leg. And I'm going to do this leg like this. It doesn't matter. You can flip it over. It doesn't matter. I'm just doing this leg like this. I'm lining up the edge along here. My toe nearly touching the square. Okay, and you have to do the big foot first. So that you've got the square, then the big foot. You can give that to your partner. And then you can put the little foot in and it kind of fits in there or it goes in there. It's got to be on. You can't have it crossing over. This one can go in there. Similar sort of thing. Line it up there, right up close. Oops. And trace around. Pencil pointing straight up. Okay. So you've got the head one foot to or half the head, one foot, two foot, and then you can do this one here. And the bit on the end, that's going to be the tongue. Nice curly lizard tongue. Oops, I moved. All right. Now, the same thing applies. What you're going to do is you're going to write your name and grade, name and grade, name and grade, name and grade. Neatly. 